The 15 Secret Tortures of Our Lord Jesus Christ As revealed by Our Lord to Blessed Maria Madalena Martinengo So disfigured was he that he was beyond human semblance Isaiah 52, 14 Jesus related, The Jews considered me as the most wretched man living on earth, so that is why. They fastened my feet with a rope and dragged me over the stepping stones of the staircase, down into a filthy, nauseating cellar. They took off my clothing and stung my body with iron joints. They attached a rope around my body and pulled me on the ground from end to end. They hanged me on a wooden piece with a slip knot until I slipped out and fell down. Overwhelmed by this torture, I wept bloody tears. They tied me to a post and pierced my body with various arms. They struck me with stones and burnt me with blazing embers and torches. They pierced me with awls, sharp spears tore my skin, flesh and arteries out of my body. They tied me to a post and made me stand barefoot on an incandescent metal sheet. They crowned me with an iron crown and wrapped my eyes with the dirtiest possible rags. They made me sit on a chair covered with sharp pointed nails, causing deep wounds in my body. They poured on my wounds liquid lead and resin, and after this torture, they pressed me on the nailed chair so that the nails went deeper and deeper into my flesh. For shame and affliction, they drove needles into the holes of my uprooted bead. They tied my hands behind my back and led me walking out of prison with strikes and blows. They threw me upon a cross and attached me so tightly that I could hardly breathe any more. They threw at my head as I lay on the earth, and they stepped on me, hurting my breast. Then, taking a fawn from my crown, they drove it into my tongue. They poured into my mouth the most immodest excretions, as they uttered the most infamous expressions about me. Then Jesus added, my daughter, I desire that you let everyone know these 15 secret tortures in order that every one of them be honored. Anyone who daily offers me with love one of these sufferings and says with fervor the following prayer will be rewarded with eternal glory on the day of judgment. My Lord and my God, it is my unchangeable will to honour you in these 15 secret torments, when you shed your precious blood as many times as there are grains of sand around the seas, as grains of wheat in the fields, as blades of grass in the meadows, as fruit in the orchards, as leaves on the trees, as flowers in the gardens as stars in the sky, as angels in heaven, as creatures on earth. So many thousands of times may you be glorified, praised and honoured, O most love-worthy Lord Jesus Christ. Your holiest heart, your precious blood, your divine sacrifice for mankind, and the holiest sacrament of the altar be praised. May the Most Holy Virgin Mary, the Nine Glorious Choirs of Angels, the Blessed Phalanx of the Saints, I and every one glorify and praise you, now and forever. In like manner, 
I desire, my dear Jesus, to give you thanksgiving, to serve you, to repair and atone for all my ignominies, and to offer you my soul and body as your possession forever. Likewise, I regret all my sins and beg your pardon, O my Lord and my God. Mighty Father, I offer you all the merits of Jesus Christ to repair everything, to obtain a happy dying hour and the deliverance of the souls from purgatory. This prayer I desire to renew at each hour until my death. O lovable Jesus, sweet Saviour, fortify my resolution and permit not that neither wretched men nor Satan destroy it. Amen.